and see what we got going here. All right, so yeah, I uh, it's gonna be the beginning of the tourney review. Um, there were mistakes made, and I want to try and pick out those mistakes um, in a nice, concise manner. I want hopefully this will take like about thirty minutes, right? We'll see. See if I can do it. It's my Let him know, baby. It's mine. Ooh, it's my house. Let him know, baby. Wild child. Nine, nine, nine. Just endorsed your man's two months. I swear that's like sixty days. I appreciate you, wild child. In more ways than you could know. In more ways than you could know. All right, let's check this out. So I won my first match, and then I ended up having to play another match. Those two were off stream. Um, and now I play right here. I think this is winners semis, maybe. Yeah, maybe winners semis. Yeah, it was. So the homie Rojo used to be a Steve player. He's playing Gigas. I have no clue why. Um, I think he 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 likes to struggle. I think that's why. So I don't know too much about Gigas. Get off of me! But I'm breaking grabs. Let's see. I don't know too much about Gigas, but he's not being too... Ooh. Damn. Ooh, don't be whiffing like that. Ooh, don't be whiffing like that. He did. He did. Ain't nothing to look at. He did. This is the next round. He did. All right, now. Let's see. I'm trying. I'm looking for mistakes for me. For some mistakes for me. For here, I just... uh With my guy, Miguel, that's the 10 hit. That's really weird. But it's natural, so it's kind of okay. But here with Miguel, my plan is really to just like play really small and wait for mistakes. And I want to see how many times I actually wait for the mistakes because that's where I'm. That's what I'm looking for. Right now, I'm surgically look. This shit looks so surgical. I'm picking him apart surgically. You see this? Nothing but pokes. Small pokes. We're chilling. Look at that. We're chilling. We ain't swinging on shit. We get hit by the low. Punish it. I could have punished it better. Ooh, ooh. What you doing? You can't just sit right there. Stakes, what's going on? Welcome to the tourney review. I won the tourney Saturday. Here's the review. Um, I played Miguel in winners. He is not my main. He is my secondary. But I'm going to play him in winners and Huang in losers. So, I'm trying to find mistakes and good things. Ooh, the bait. Let me see the bait. Let me see the bait. Let me see the bait. Uh -huh. We take the low. We good. We ain't tripping off of it. Low. Lo, you can't step the way. Why are you still stepping, bro? What you what you doing, bro? He just can't step nothing, Rojo. He can't skip nothing, Rojo, Jojo. Look at that. Can't step. Can't step. Can't step. Bait. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Good way to maximize that. He's still at the wall. I don't know what to do. I go for mids. Um, I don't think that he. I don't think the Gigas can do this. Um, this phase of offense right here. This, that, I don't think he can do that. Uh, I'm not sure if he can or not. Okay, there's plus. Uh huh. Oh, damn it! I thought he was going unblockable. Oh no! Oh wow! It whiffed. I remember this. Ooh. I want an attorney. Damn. Yeah. Offline. Offline event. All right. I won that first round. Um, he had a weird whiff there. That sucked. But you know, sometimes hitboxes suck in Tekken. You know. Um, he's a big guy. I feel like he shouldn't miss anything. <laughs> so I may have gotten fortunate there. Uh, let's see. We chilling. Mm -hmm. Oh, I tried to bait it again. I don't know what this combo is. So yeah, I ended early. See, he keeps going into this. Uh, he keeps going into this stance. I don't know a lot about the stance at all. This right here. That. Um, I think he tried to cancel into this and maybe block or get away every time. And I checked it with DF1 almost every time. Uh, almost every time. Uh -huh. So, he's trying to fight off the wall. I don't want him to leave the wall. I have no clue why I do hop kick. I think I was searching for down back too. Going for a back grab. Wasn't able to reach. Ooh, bad whiff too. See, he went for that stance again. I go regular grab. I got him thinking, and I'll run up and hit the uh, Savage down 4-3. That was kind of tricky. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I beat Rojo if he plays Steve. <laughs> That's the funny part. But he really seems to like playing Gigas. 
Launch it. Ah, oh, this is bad. You see this? This is the type of shit I'm looking for. This right here. I get that. You see that? Bait. Forward. Back dash. Bait. Then I move forward and I move back again to double bait it. Whatever. And he already gets up. So I'm like, all right, back. And, or no, I move back and I see he pressed something. That's what it was. And I did forward, forward, two, one. Great. I think it does like 40 damage, whatever. Maybe I get some Oki or something, but that has to be launched. And I think he's dead. Look at his health. This is second seven, right? So you're doing 50% at the wall. That looks about 50%, maybe a little less. Your friend bought Tekken, so you started playing again, trying out Jack 7. Ooh, Mr. Dry himself, Jack 7. I feel like Jack is really fun and extremely basic. And probably really good at teaching you the game. Hmm. Okay. I want the wall. Okay. We chilling, we chilling. All right, so this right here, this is, I feel like this was a good idea. Just this move right here by itself. It's attached to a string though, so I should probably just finish it. Um, I'm probably too negative after this. I don't know the frames after this. I'm gonna look that up later. Um, don't know the frames, but I swung after it and counter it. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, he thought the wall was gone. Oh. Now nah, we breaking those. Uh oh, ouch, my face. Oh, get off of me. I don't know what that down three was. I wish I punished it. Wow, good interrupt. Uh oh, ooh, like I said, I was checking that stance the entire time. Uh, I don't know what he was doing wrong, but um, yeah, see, I was checking it every time. I don't know if Geekies can get out or not. Or maybe he wasn't playing people to check that stance, because I, shit, I wasn't gonna let that shit slide. Plus, you can have it. Ooh, I went for mid. I don't know why I went for that one. Ooh, good low parry. And, eh, eh. Really struggling to EMGF. Is that the, uh, the, the blue uppercut from Jack? Ooh, the push. I think that's a high armored wall bounce, which is fucked up. Um, I don't have that much experience with that move, but it was a good choice there for sure. Ooh, that was scary. Okay. Still checking it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, I got greedy. I got greedy. I got greedy. Um, I think I should back up after I hit two Savage Slam. <laughs> or just go for a lot more mids. Because I think two is enough to be like, all right, bro. Like, he's ready to death. Punish. Oh, got to punish better than that. You get the grab. Ooh, a homing. I'm plus five after, Miguel's plus five after the grabs. So yeah, we win that. Next we got, uh... all right, next we got Squall. Um, I get to fight Squall. Now Squall has beaten me in tournament twice. Once when I first started Tekken in 2018, which I give little credit to. Um, and another time late last year, I believe. I went to a tournament in Dayton, I wanna say, which is where he stays. And, uh, you know, I made a kind of a big deal out of it, you know, beating him and shit, whatever, because uh, Squall has this complex built around him where it seems like he's, uh, like he's awesome at everything he attempts. Like, I've seen him race Eli to Curry and, like, dust him. So, he's probably, like, a really fast guy, you know, maybe athletic and shit. You know, like, uh, <laughs> I saw that shit. Um, I saw that. Um, he's been really good at Street Fighter forever, as far as I've known. I don't know what other games he plays, but I just imagine. I don't know. He's just, like, really solid at pretty much everything he does. Um, and I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> like, but that's like, I don't know. That's just how, that's just how it seems. And like, when he came to Tekken, I was like, bro, you play Street Fighter. There's no way, like, I should lose you. Lost to him then. And then after I, you know, I felt confident in myself at what, maybe 2019 was when I started feeling confident because I fought him in 2018 and he beat me. So I was like, eh, I was just starting. So I can't put too much weight on that victory. So here, um, so in the Dayton one, I was like, yeah, I'm going, I'm whoop your ass, you know, like 
Or I tell everyone that beats me, I owe you an ass whooping. That's everyone. So cuddle, I owe you an ass whooping. Shadow, I owe you an ass whooping. Everybody. And I tell them to their face. Like, cause I mean it, you know? I'm going to say it silly jokingly, but I, I truly mean it. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. And I'm thinking about it. And I haven't forgot when you've won. And I know what you did. And I reviewed the set like five to ten times. Whatever. Possibly more. So, like, you know, I'm I'm ready to see you. <laughs> Word to Spirogen. Because Spirogen beat me in 2018 as well and i beat him in 2020 so like i i'm a very vengeful person is what i'm saying and uh so squall decided to come here to our local and i was like oh crap i wonder how he's gonna do against miguel and now that i'm not able to be as emotionally thirsty as i was how is he gonna do against you know the placid strife and here we go i was pretty sure that i could win neutral with miguel but I didn't know how he would win. So, you know, I was pretty sure I could win neutral, right? You see, look, I'm I'm starting off really solid, you know, some some buttons. We'll see. There's the uh, patented DF1. Good pick up. He could have a better combo there. That move is plus. I don't know why I didn't duck that. Marta couldn't really have lows like that, so you don't really duck, duck this. How many contexts is? Uh, 20, I believe. It was 20, two didn't show up, um, but they paid, so that, that counts. I got the money. Ah! My leg. Tackle. Tackle breaks really fucked me over. Um, I believe this set. But it's all good. This is the first. Um, This is winner's final. Is this winner's finals? Yeah, this is winner's finals. Right here. Okay. No, well, yeah, I'm doing okay buttons wise. So far it seems like most of my damage is, is really coming from tackle. Look at that, that was good. I didn't know what to do there, so I did the push. I feel like it was a decent idea maybe. <laughs> Oof. You see that? I was stepping, DF1 hit me. I think I'm not supposed to step that way. <laughs> Uh, let's check that out. DF1? He just did it. Right? There's like, like, why? Like, I didn't give him any, any data. <laughs> oh, whatever. Maybe he did it because I was stepping that way and he knew it was the wrong way. But like, I didn't give him any, any like, too much data for him to like, be like, hey, he's going to duck here. So I'm going to DF1. So maybe he knew I was stepping the wrong way and did this. Um, I can give him that credit, right? Uh, uh. Mm hmm. And. Okay, that was an accident. Messes up the tackle Oki because of that accident. Okay. No, I'm checking it. Okay. I've seen that before. <clears> hmm, <throat> it must be a Marduk specialty. Ow, ow. Jesus, the damage, bro. Once again, tackle kills me. Um, not shocking. Uh, it is the best throw in the game, in my opinion. <clears throat> Okay, went for the side step. He wasn't moving. Wow. Okay, that was a good time for what's the name? What did I do for him to get that shit right? Uh, I did one two, and I was trying to bait him to do bait him to take his turn, um, but he did not. So I get up and grab him back. Get your ass up. Damn it! Ah, the patented DF ones. Swall is known for really, really good DF ones. Okay, doesn't know Miguel's strings clearly. Ooh, I wanted the wall bounce. No, cut it out. We ain't done jabbing, and we blocked. That was solid. Yeah, stakes about 20 contestants. I believe two uh, didn't show up, but they did pay. So you know the money's in the bag. I don't know why I did that, but it worked. <laughs> Um, there's clearly, looking back at this, there's clearly some ignorance, um, with Miguel, I see. Huh? Uh, uh, clean that up. We saved to the favorites. Well, that wasn't me, that was him. I don't press buttons after I win, normally. So, um, how much I get? Um, I think it was 170. I think it, yeah, I think it was 170. It's pretty cool. Lows? Lows? Ah, my god, he just does DF1 in response, bro. That shit is so whack. That's crazy. You would think he would just move, right? Look at this. Look at all these pokes, bro. I got 50% off of pokes. It's DF1. 
And I ducked. Why do I have no clue why I ducked there though? No clue why I ducked there. And that was a very, very impetuous duck for sure. I'm at the wall. Okay. I go for it again. He's like, alright. <laughs> I thought he was just mashing buttons after one down one down one three. Whatever. So that's why I went for it. Uh uh, I'm alive. Uh, that is next. Do I win this? Ooh, no. I tried to savage down forward too. That's what that was. Because he was... The angle he was at here... Look at this angle. The angle he was at here... Like, this is perfect because he has to roll into the wall. So I I was thinking savage down forward two was like the smartest thing I could do. And I didn't get the savage to come out. I got a regular DF2. Yep. Cool. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, get tackled. Ouch. No, not today. Okay. Ah, I delayed the savage down back three. It still didn't work. It's too obvious at this point. I need more mids. But I don't think I adjusted that. He's getting a swing on. Okay. I'm getting poked down now by Marduk. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I went for a grab. Another grab. Ah, I think he's plus after my grab break. Round three. Fight. Okay. Uh huh. Got yeah, him. I was looking for the counter hit though, since he was present. Damn. And I run up. That's two DF ones that I've run into now, right? Uh, there's two that I ran into, and then there's two that he just did after negative frames. Right? Or not negative. Or it was his turn, and like he just like, fuck it, DF1, right? I mean, it's low risk, right? It's like minus 13 or something, so I can only forward to one it and get plus frames. Like, you can't launch it, right? Why would you stop people from doing DF2s? I don't think that you really can, you know? That was not the right thing to do there, but fuck it, I appreciate it. Um, the optimal combo would be to get the wall break, which uh, would have solidified the round smoother. Alright, I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Um, I'm kind of confused on how to hit him at this point. So I'm grabbing the low pair. And it seems like after my DF1, uh, everyone is looking for, not everyone, um, looking back. Um, it is really easy to look for the uh and what happened to his health really easy to look for uh the low pair and go for it i'm starting the round so well look at that that's 20 that's 30 percent of a pokes it doesn't matter tie game <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to make my, oh my God, that was so bad. And that was out of like character unfamiliarity. I blocked it and I was like, damn, how do I punish this? Like my brain thought back three and then I was like, wait, I'm Miguel, four, four, two, one. I break the one plus two. I do a bad job of breaking these this tourney and I have no clue why, because I know it's like one of the most fucked up grabs in the game. Okay, he's not really ducking anything. I press. He caught me while I was pressing two there. This combo. Um, I did not know this right here was plus. I thought maybe I'd be able to hit him, but we traded. Uh, punish. Got the knee. I like that knee. Um, ooh, what you doing? Uh, uh, flip him over. I need a back swing blow. That was beautiful, beautiful. I, my wall pressure is getting a little better. Yo, Fusion, what's up, man? Nothing reviewing attorney that I won this past Saturday. Um, I am a reviewing attorney I just won this past Saturday. Um, trying to find some mistakes in places where I need to strengthen up. Okay, that was a good adjustment. Me doing Savage 2 instead of uh, down back 3. Ooh, call my hop kick. I thought he was running up into something. What the fuck? Scramble situation. The wilder character always wins scare at scramble situations. Marduk is definitely the wilder character here. <laughs> I go for the grabs. He keeps grabbing me, so I'm like, all right, you wanna grab? I got you, bruh. Strings, bruh. He doesn't know Miguel. 
I've I well looking back now, like I've hit him with with uh three prong strings three or four times now in the set, and I don't think I realized that in real time. Damn, that sucks. Monix have a really bad habit of abusing the frames there. I don't know what the frames are, but um, I know Monarchs would love to abuse that. So that was why I jabbed there. Miguel's my new main. No, not my new main. He is my sub. Um, he's my sub. And uh, I play. There we go. At least I launched it. I don't like. I don't like what I launched it with. Uh oh. Let's get off there. Keep him at the wall. Nope. Try to savage to it. I was too late. Um, I play I play Miguel on winners and I play a wrong in losers if I get to losers. That is my new rule. We breaking these grabs or I'm trying to. It looks like I'm doing a good job of breaking the grabs, even though I feel like I lost the grabs for sure in this set. Ah, oh, it's not that minus. Uh, it's not that minus. Uh, got my toes. Wait, wait, wait. Look, ah, damn it. I was looking for DF1. Ooh, that was good. That was a good opponent. Yeah, this is the jab I was talking. I talked to Squall about this after the tournament. This jab, look at this range right here. Uh, look at this range. <laughs> Great whip punch. <laughs> Great whip punch. Squall solid. Uh uh, that's not what you're supposed to do either. I feel like if you optimize, he'd be a lot scarier. Um, but luckily he does not. And good little parry. I tried to randomize my, uh, I tried to randomize my, uh, my get-ups very often against, uh, Marduk, so I can catch him slipping, but I didn't catch him slipping there. <laughs> Alright, and I opt to go to an endless stage, um, just cause, uh, I don't know, I feel like I needed some space to breathe, and I feel like I was winning the neutral, and clearly I may have been wrong. I feel like I'm winning the pokes, but his grabs are killing me. Clearly, um, clearly killing. Me. If we were to just poke, then I would win like free, right? <laughs> but that's not what the character I'm facing is. Um, he can just decide to be like, "Oh, we playing neutral? Fuck that, bro! Here come the best grab in the game." In my opinion, um, my opinion. I wonder what people agree with that. Fusion stakes. Um, what's the best grab in the game? I think the tackle is. I'll gladly say it. Tackle's great. Giant swing is great. Uh, okay, there we go. So he showed he showed he knew he knew that I swung last time. So um, I was looking for that. You have no idea the best grab in the game. You don't think tackle? Like I think tackle is the best grab in the game. Um, the Marduk tackle, like without a doubt. Um, whew, that was a good whip punish. He back dashed for it. We getting whip punish a lot. Or, well, no, that was two. He got two whip punishes. He's doing a good job. It seems like the uh, the endless pick helped him out a lot more than I thought. Which is weird because Marduk is a lot better with uh, with the wall than uh, than Miguel is. I think he was teabagging there. Is that a teabag? Yeah, I guess he's a little trolly. I guess that's not shocking. There's a lot of people that are. I don't know. Mm. No, I don't know. When people troll, it just makes me better. So like, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna troll or teabag or any of that shit. He does come from 2D, so I think that that might be a 2D thing. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm making more of it than what it is. <laughs> All right, and I broke that. There we go. Oh, I don't know the combo, but we got the reverse punch. The fuck is that? Yeah, stakes. If you had to think about the most dangerous grab in the game, just tell me what it is. What you think? I'm going with Marduk Tackle, bro. This grab is so fucked up. But I'll die. It's one of the hardest ones to break in the game. Like, like, it, it, it's so hard to avoid. Like, like, he could just, Marduk could essentially knock you down and go for Tackle almost every time. And like, it would be extremely difficult for you to figure out how to get away from it. Um, meanwhile, looks like I'm, I'm trying to mount a comeback here. Oh, a how kick too late. Or I think the range is just bad. One down three. 
You just don't know. You can't even break regular grab. Oh man, okay. Boom. Sticks. Um, if you ever get a chance to fight this character for an extensive time, I think maybe you'll respect this grab a lot more. Hmm. I think maybe you will respect this grab a lot more. Um, that was good. I did forward back forward and um, he launched me. I don't know if he could tell I was doing that. He, uh, I went for that and failed. The weird thing is, is I did rage drive, but his Miguel's rage drive is down back and his rage art is back. So yeah. That's bad. So I lost that. That was winner finals 3-1. Alright. And then I think I have to wait a little bit. Yeah. Subway Wing fights Dr. Shock. Um, Subway Wing is just in a different uh, skill category than uh, Dr. Shock. Dr. Shock is pretty new. Subway has been playing for quite a long time. So it makes sense that this was a... Uh, this seemed like a... It seemed like a very quick match. Whatever. But Dr. Shock is getting there. And he's staying consistent. So in time... That it won't be like this. In time, it won't be like this. As long as Dr. Shock keeps grinding, there we go. So, as long as Dr. Shock keeps grinding, there'll be improvement. Um, I, I damn near want to review this one. Um, so we can point out, I can point out some of his mistakes in tournament. You know, but this is a review of me right now. So we're gonna skip this. I think they had to turn off the console. because we were having dis disconnecting issues. And then Spreader, oh my God. Spreader, our Fang player, our 1A or our number two, or however you want to put him, uh, is great at Tekken, really solid. Um, and I get my go-to, you know, one of my training partners every Friday. He would not play Fang because he's searching for a secondary and it was so sad because I don't know who he loses to if he plays Fang. He ends up losing to his Gigas player, uh, not Gigas. He ends up losing to Rojo Kuma, which is the Steam slash Gigas player. Um, and I forgot who he lost to first. I think he lost to Squall. Pretty bad. And, but he stuck with Gamryu, which, uh, I guess I admire that. I just, I'm just really sad that we didn't get to see Fang, because I want to know how he would have really did. I don't know. And also, I want to see other people thrive. And he switches the drag here, and uh, seems like he has a little bit of an idea of what to do, but um, the idea doesn't hold up. So it looked good in the first round. And then he drops the combo, which makes sense. Uh, you know nothing about Tekken. You just play some casually here and there, labbing combos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's all it's all good stakes. I was just wondering if you noticed, like, you know, things that are overpowered, like, um, wow. and then this, this fight, this happens, what the fuck? Rojo did a solid job in this, but, um, when the subway takes it. All right, now, um, I get to losers, right? So, you know what I said, Miguel and winners, wrong and losers. So the business guy comes out and, um, subway has not beaten me in a set when I play Huang. Um, so, I have no reason to believe he can beat me now. Um, and I was, I was very shocked at how, how smooth the first two games were. I know that I've improved and he's improved. Um, and maybe that's the problem, is that he got better, but I've gotten better. So, like, I'm just good at understanding what I need to do to win. Uh, with Horong. So, it becomes very very robotic um my responses can be very robotic um to you know hum the human responses i'm seeing well um, the sweep okay there we go i think you have to duck there to avoid that i think i might try that regular grab i wanted to see if he was gonna break grabs or what he was gonna default to that was the first test so that ends up becoming very helpful later. Very helpful. I don't think he realized what that was. Oof, don't step. Eh, 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 eh. All your health cannot get hit by that. I'm doing really good. That's the second get up move I've baited, and I don't know why I'm doing that. I feel like I don't bait that many get up moves online. <laughs> 
I switched and baited that shit. You put him in. We chill. Oh, it's blood. It's a fairy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We chilling. Ow, I got punched. I should have whiplashed him. I can't believe he did DF2 there. I missed the. Ooh. ooh. We mix him up. Looks real smooth. Nothing wrong with that so yeah, but nothing wrong with that stakes, man. You know, whatever level you're at, it's cool, damn. So I breeze through that one. Um Um, I still have that grab data in my head for when things so for when you adjust. The set is the loser's final, so it's a first of three. So I'm I'm kinda waiting for him to adjust, honestly, to my offense. Um right now he's doing terribly at defending against my character. Um well, like which is why, which is why uh, the life, the life totals are like this. It's almost as if he doesn't know the frames. But I know, I know that Subway has been grinding, so I know he does know. I'm just trying to jab him out, cause he he has no health. Yeah, I just need to chip him out real quick. All right, into the next match. I'm wondering. Uh, right now, I'm I'm four rounds straight. And um, this is kind of rough. Okay, there you go. So he knew about that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go, another situation like this again. Jab. Round three. Fight. That was a skyrocket. He's lucky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Couple down threes. Huh? Ooh, watch your toes. I fucked up the, what's the name? The punish. Ooh, second jab catches the jumping, the high crush, low crush, jumping move. And that's six rounds straight. So I'm like, wow, this is kind of crazy. I'm like, I didn't think the gap was that large. I'm still in business woe mode. So, you know, you see I'm in my business mode. He goes to stage select, this is the smartest thing. This is the best thing he did the entire tournament. Best thing he did the entire tournament. Subway has amazing combos and a lot of knowledge about his character and stuff. But that was the smartest thing he did. Because if he continued, he was going to get bopped. So at this point, I know that I can grab him to death. To, to squeeze this last match out. Um, I know I can grab him to death. Um, based on the, the panic response in the first round. Um, um, I feel like the key to... Uh, I feel like the key to understanding someone in their grab breaks is to grabbing them in a clutch situation. Um, and I only know this because I've done this several times in tournament. So, so yeah, here's where things get interesting. Ooh, I lied. Things don't get interesting. <laughs> he gets with flash. Ooh, where you going? Ooh, good low parry. I did that last time. Just a different low. Uh, uh, uh. Look at this combo. Look at it. And ooh, what you tech on and pressing a button for? You bum? Don't do that shit. Fight. Leo's uh, wall key is phenomenal. <laughs> and wall pressure? I don't know about pressure, but. Keep stepping there, too. Press the button there. Uh uh uh. Okay. I was wondering if he was gonna parry there. Le Leo's have a bad tendency of parrying there. Um, I think I didn't take advantage of it the entire time. I know this just from playing Ayo Richie and playing Roshka. I was really impressed by the range of this, by the way. So, they always have a bad tendency of peering at the wall. Um, and peering at the wall is, uh, it's just like a death sentence, bro. If I had a parry, I would, like, not be using that shit at the wall. <laughs> just because I don't want to get wall flat and lose, like, 40% of my health. Like, it's so scary to me. Um, this right here, look at how far he is. That's good. That's good range. I, I honestly thought he was going to whiff the shit. No, I didn't even, like... I think I didn't block any of those, which I guess is fine, but... Oh, damn it. Why didn't I launch him? Hmm. He got hit by counter hit. Oh, probably because I was looking to stay small. Yeah, there's still some, like, some spots of ignorance here that I'm, like, I'm just looking at. Punish? Now what? Mm -hmm. Went for that grab that I've been waiting on. There you go, he goes for it again. That's my fault for not adjusting. And I think that, right, hmm. 
Okay, no, I'll win that round. Let's see. Alright. What time is it? Wow, I have to be at work. Oh, man. Fuck. I don't have much time. <laughs> I have to be at work here pretty soon. Ooh, beautiful whip punch. Okay. Oh, uh, step one. Ooh, the bait. So I should have ended it here with grabs is what I should have did. I did not. I did not end it with grabs here. And uh, I regret it because he ends up coming back and doing a very good job. Ouchies. I guess the last uh, the last set is going to require less less verbal navigation. That plays. Oof. That was good. That was a good choice. That was a good choice. And this this uh the new move alone that I forgot about. The new move alone extended him two matches. Yo, Denze, what's up? I got like 10 minutes and then I gotta get off. <laughs> bine, Bine. Bine, Bine. I'm doing a tournament review. I won a tournament. Um, I'm in losers right, losers finals right now. This is the first of three. Um, let's see. Damn, I went the wall there. Whiplash? No. Okay. He's looking for something. Oh, no. Did I jab there? I don't know what I did. It looks like a jab. Probably. Flip over. Okay. I don't like that hit me. Ooh, good break. But he also broke. You see how fast he broke that? This is something I paid attention to. Right here. You see that? Automatic 1 plus 2. You see that shit? I was like, bet. That was the second test. So, at this point, I know the grabs are... Grabs are... I can mix them up with grabs. Pretty, pretty effectively. So, I just don't, I just don't use it really until the last match. I was like, I'll save the data if I need it. And, and then as you, as you see, the set keeps going on. I start grabbing him a little more, and it's because, it's because of those two grabs right there. I remember I thought that exactly. I was like, uh huh. The first time he panic responds and broke one plus two, because how else do you not break a regular grab? And then. And then the second grab, this is a great combo by the way. Oh wait, no, it's not. Yep, and then the second grab was one plus two that he broke so fast. That was really good. The double duck there, that was really good here. Cause I did a fake. I did a fakey. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Who? You see that? That was good shit, bro. That was good shit. And in retrospect, I should've went mid, right? I have no clue how I spawn there. I know that's a high. He should have been lost. <laughs> no clue why I spawn there. That definitely should have been high. I'm chilling. Bro, the plus five into that is working so much. Uh, I went to switch the side switch and I got it. Okay. Punish. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted the wall. I'm still, I'm still wall hunting. That was good. Good shit. To the next round, yep, there's another grab. As you can see, I'm two for two on grabs now. As I said, the grabs become really important. Uh, I want this wall. Damn it, that's guaranteed. Three for three on grabs. Yep. Uh-huh. I think he ends up clutching uh clutching this out. He's moving off momentum, so I did a spring quick spring kick. Ooh. I try to use my frames. I was late on the punish. I think that punish cost me that round. Actually, yep, it sure did. That punish cost me that round. This one right here. Yep. That one cost me a round, because I get plus frames and momentum into the wall pressure. Yep. And now that I don't get that, we got this weird situation right here. Again? Yep. I woke up jab for some dumb reason. Whatever. Alright. So now, I'm like, alright, I have to use the grabs. Um, I have to use grabs and mix them up a little more, turn on my offense. I have no clue why I pressed there. Bad idea. I wanted to see a combo video is what. You see this? Combo video, baby. Look at this shit. Uh, almost. 
I want to see a combo video. Look at that. Regular grab. Ooh, quack quack. What you doing down there? What you doing down there? Mm -hmm. I remember he ducked, he doubled up. I was like, oh yeah, you like you like to be down there, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a DF2. Give me that. Uh I need to get my work clothes and shit ready, right? This is my work shirt. Work shirt. Ooh, whiplash. Uh, the boots. Round three. Fight. Oh, where am I? Short my work shorts are back there. So we should be good. Huh? Uh, we break that. I dropped the combo. I have no clue how I dropped that. That didn't make sense. I pressed four. I don't know. I'm using a new controller still. Um, the controller's like two weeks old. Oh, shoot. It was an accidental pause by me. Um, um, this is why you have tournament mode on. So you can't pause. I try to break the grab with square. And my square, uh, my square hit the pause button. Technically, he should get this round um, because of that. Um, but we decided to just let it rock, I guess. Because it was in, in between the grabs, I guess. It would really suck if I paused and then won this round. That was a good rage arc. End of story. <laughs> I wanted to try and mix him up, but I, I spaced the fact that he had rage. Nah, nice try. Regular grab. If he press back, he dies there. One grab. You see this? Ooh, I wanted to duck. I'm glad he didn't duck. That shit would have been rough. Yeah, I know he wants the wall. Nah, I ain't, I ain't giving it to you. Nope. No wall for you. That was cute. And he goes for the launch punishable low to take the round, man. I need to practice reacting to those. And if I've seen anything, it's a uh, practice reacting to those. Wall? I wanted it. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, there's the duck. Quack, quack, baby. Hey, yeah. Eh, 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 eh. I should do crouch dash three. Jab. That's plus four. Respect it. So, yep. With that, I win that three, two. That was a really intense set. Now, this is not really going to take too long to, uh, to go through just because of what happens, right? Uh, I think I'm going to go no cam because I'm going to put my work clothes on. All right? So... Um, then I get to make it back to Squall. I made it now, before this starts, I'm gonna maybe take five minutes to go through this last part, right? Um, before this starts, I, uh, I told him that, um, now I need you to lose six in a row, which is, is the serendipitous. I told him I need him to lose six in a row. And I, when I told him that, I didn't expect that he would do that. Um, I really didn't expect that he would do that. And, uh, I didn't know how I would do considering I wasn't emotionally riled up. I believe that I'm better. Um, but that's maybe, you know, just a competitor thing in my accolades, right? Like I've won so many like tourneys and shit, lo tourneys, locals out of, out of my state and shit. Um, so in Tekken, so in, in Tekken, I don't know what is, what Squall's done, but I just feel like I'm better. Like. And I feel like I shouldn't lose to him. Considering I understand how to optimize Marduk, and I feel like I played better and better Marducks with uh uh Gilkey and uh Gilkey and John Hammer and Joey Fury. Like I played them in sets, so I understand how to optimize Marduk and I feel like he is playing a very solid style with Marduk, but not optimizing him. And I feel like that is his flaw and I should not lose to it. Whatever. So I knew that in that first set, I felt like I got grabbed to death, essentially. Um, because grabbed to death, and he did whiff punch me a few times. Or whatever, so with some die. He has good timing, is what it is. It's the timing. He has good timing and a good strat with uh, with his usage of DF1. Whatever. And um, the first set, I took way too much damage from grabs, though. Um, I took too, way too much damage from grabs. So this set, I was focusing on that. And I was focusing on that and pushing his pace. Uh, with Miguel, I didn't push him to play faster. I told him right before we sat down, I was like, I think I'm going to push your pace. Oh, whatever. Couldn't see how you do because shout out to Violet. 
um, um, violate somebody I play all the time as a law player, dope ass dude, um, that I've been in person. He, he always plays at such a high pace, at such a high pace. He plays law, and like he plays a really oppressive like let me use my frames to get plus and force you into a bad decision law, and um. But because of the pace he's played at, I'm kind of more used to playing at that faster pace, and my character benefits from it, too. So, um, I was like, all right, I'm going to push a pace and just rush down and see what decisions you make, oh, whatever, and then abuse you for the decisions that you make. So, let's go. All right? Um, but, yeah. I, uh, I do still have to admit, I am pretty shocked at how this turned out, but I am pretty shocked at how this turned out, but... At the same time, this is what I would have. This is what I expected myself. You know, man, this is what I expected myself. That was the first time I tried that, and he low parried. That was data, is what he gave me there. So I'm happy about that. So um, I don't do any switches after that. I, don't know. I get an accidental back three. That was down back three. All the foreign players know that. So the first round isn't starting too hot, right? But I don't lose confidence because that duck he gave me gave me so much data. Uh, that duck he gave me gave me so much data. That low parry in the beginning she gave me so much data on his defense against my character. So I was like, okay, if your if your idea is to duck first and ask questions later, then I got a lot of mids and a lot of tricky shit coming for you, right? Then he went for parry. Um, Marduk's like parry. I don't know why. Marduk's uh, like parry. I don't know why. Uh, or I do know why because the parry is pretty good, but. Um, let's see. Okay, I go for grab again. Um, I was gonna see if I could like out grab him because Hong has a three-way throw game. Or whatever. This round was like really silly because of that. Also, I feel like uh he wasn't um, he wasn't frame trapping me often, um, often enough at least. So I started disrespecting his frame. Another thing I got from Bio. Um, my character's not amazing at disrespecting frames, but um. That's a, let me see, yeah, that was a big job to try and interrupt. So that was a good backdash DF1 there. But, um, my character's not amazing at disrespecting frames, but my turns are felt. My turns are hella felt, you know? People don't like when Huang is swinging. <laughs> my turns are hella felt, so. Mm, so if you let me get extra turns, uh, you're not gonna like it. And I'm not gonna continue to do the same thing, so it's not gonna be easy to get away from damage and pressure and grabs and lows and annoying annoying frame traps and shit. So I use that philosophy here against him on everyone because he has to frame trap me. That was that was a re that was a uh, that was a really bad four four four. Not deserve to lose that round. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, we're doing all right so far. Alright, right, so far it's 2 2. Um, I like the pace of the match. And, uh. <laughs> perfect. Two perfects in the first match. I'm like, ooh, -wee, he in trouble. He in trouble. One thing you can't let happen in a loser set. Remember, I'm coming for losers, so I have to win six of these. Um, you cannot afford to let the person in losers get the momentum. You cannot. You absolutely cannot. Um, not in the first set. Whatever. Um, well, really, really not at all. You don't want them having too much momentum at all. But in the first set, if you give them like a window of like, hey, like, damn, and they and they really think that they can win or whatever. Which not that I didn't believe I could win. I just thought that this was gonna go like three one me, then maybe three two me is what I was thinking. I was thinking three one me, then three two me. Um. You know, I thought, you know, maybe he was going to, he's going to adjust, or his defense was going to get better, and I was going to struggle. Mm -hmm, double it up. We gotta double it up. Last time I abused my frames on 4-3, four, 4-3 three, four, three is plus 5, by the way. 30 damage plus 5. Um, that's launch punishable, I need to launch that. But, we did get Jackknife off, which is cool. Jackknife is a high damage grab, and one of my favorites will fall. From right foot forward. Let's see. By the way, you won the bet last night. Oh, good shit, Denzel. Your ass is gold. Your ass is gold. All right. Man. 
So, let's see, at this point, I'm really just, uh, I'm really just kind of chilling and pushing this pace and maximizing my turns. That's the first grab I got hit by the entire set. Um, ooh, he swung on that. Not knowing the strings. Not knowing the strings. Eh, 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 eh. Where you going? That's your toes. Oh, there's the mid. Ooh, there's the low. What do you do? You get hit by it. That's what. All right, I got my work clothes on. Um, uh, where are my keys? That's the question, right? Bruh, this is, uh, this is, I'm supposed to be at work at 10. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> um, where are my keys? Though? That would be great to know. Go oh, keys. Where are you? Uh-uh. Okay. We got a little, you know, got some damage going. Ooh, back dash, back dash, back dash. You know, if he plays Zafina, he'd be doing great. Zafina or Eddie or somebody, but I don't know. I don't know where he would get his damage from, because he seems to be getting a lot of his damage from the grab and not from, well, no, the grabs and the whip punishes. So, yeah, if he played characters that had better, had a better back dash into a whip punish, then I think he might be able to maximize that style a bit. But he'd definitely be missing out on damage, because the easy, you know, the easy grab, uh, easy grab damage from Marduk, it, uh, it is uh, extremely effective. Um, right there, you see I punish the tackle because he did it out of range. I'm playing my main now, so there's gonna be less holes. There's gonna be less holes in my offense, and I'm mixing his shit right now. I am mixing his shit. Woo! Did you? Woo! Hold on, let's go back, baby. This this shit damn near clip. Boy, this is a, ooh ooh ah, ooh ooh ah, ooh ah, ah. back up. Oh! <laughs> God. <laughs> now the shitty part is I don't launch him for this because I bait that shit so well I poke him and take 30% of his health right look, look at that shit wait can I pause oh wait right here my bad um wait no 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 where, where, was, where, where was that round at um damn did we miss that round damn that round was sexy though damn did I get that round? I don't even know. Oh yeah, here it is. Hey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> If I would have launched him, that shit would have been godlike. Anyway, um, yeah, he can't, he can't defend against me. That's what that told me. Um, I'm like, well, if he doesn't get better defense, he's going to lose this entire match. Because at this point, I'm never relenting. Uh, I'm never relenting my offense. And I'm going to abuse, yeah. Nope, I'm never relenting my offense. He didn't duck whiplash. Um, um, let's see. Yeah, he didn't duck whiplash. That was supposed to be DF2. I got it down to there. Okay. He's dig jab interrupting now, which is cool. Because I have answers for that. No. Ooh, jab and a grab. We got lucky that whiplash was coming. Mmm, too aggressive, huh? Can't pay attention to get it. Ooh, give me that. This combo sucked. I should have did a better combo. Get up. Eh? Eh? Ooh. Oh, okay, that was good. Take your turn with the tackle. Eh? And I get hit by the max damage. I think he wins this round. Oh, no. That was not supposed to win. Um, but Marduk's body helped him there. Not supposed to live. More like body health in there. Ooh, that hurt. Okay. Eh. Ooh. Okay. Going for frame traps. What we got? Nothing. A lot of nothing. Eh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. He likes that boot. It's cute. It is plus. And uh, here's where I start not breaking that grab, and it cost me around. Right? I'm waiting for the dick jab. I'm trying to find. Yeah, there it was. And what you ducking for, boy? What you ducking for, boy? Where's Smug at? What you ducking for, boy? <laughs> <laughs> or no, what you jumping for, boy? Smug's hilarious. Um, alright. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you see, I'm keeping up the pressure because it's clear to me that he cannot defend against my style um, with my character. So. I'm just being abusive, I'm mixing in throws and grabs, and I don't think that he can do too much of anything, right? Yeah, yeah, he was looking for it, I was looking for it too. Um, I get hit by that? Wait, what happens after this combo? Huh? Oh, he goes for Oki, nah, I'm not getting, I'm not getting launched, I'll tell you that, you're gonna have to grab me, bro. 
two down fours. That was supposed to be a low period, according to him, which I'm glad it didn't come out. I'm fine with that. So he opts to go to an endless stage, which is a good idea against Horong, but it's a bad idea for Marduk. Um, if you're not able to get your grab setups off, uh, this is the worst place for Marduk. Um, so without him, without me worrying about him and his grab setups, I'm like, bruh, I'm still gonna rush your shit down without a wall, and I'm just gonna kill you. I'm like, <laughs> like there's nothing you can do. You can't escape. Your character doesn't backdash good enough. Like, his backdash as a player is fine, but like, he couldn't, he just couldn't escape, you know? Uh, he couldn't escape, there you go, there's the grab, like, but like, if he's not getting his grabs off, like that, he's definitely not winning the neutral, like, um, I'm, because I'm like, I'm rushing it down. The weird thing is, he said he was winning, he felt like he was winning the neutral. You have to win the poke game in order to win the neutral, in my opinion, right? And look look at all this poke damage. He's not getting launched. He's getting poked. <laughs> These are pokes. It's just pokes and grabs, you know? It's not like uh you know, it's not like I'm launching him. He's winning by like he's winning by throwing and whip punishing. His poke game? No. Not at all. So I don't understand what he meant when he when he said that to me, but I definitely don't think he was winning neutral because he was only able to get what's the name? Yeah, he was able to get throws and whip punish DF ones. The whip punish DF ones is a good neutral thing, right? The throws, eh? Throws are like a character benefit, right? Like if you have Kazumi, you're not throwing people that much because you got one throw, right? But if you have King, uh, Horong, you know, Marta, you have these characters with three different throws, and I think that Marta has the best throw in the game. Like, of course, you're, yeah, of course you're gonna be throwing a lot more, and it's gonna be, become a part of something. So that was good, that was a good instinct for him to do there. I don't know what I did there. I went for the grab, that was a good backdash by him. Oh, I jabbed, of course. Of course I jabbed. <laughs> um, he did a, I think the issue became that, um, he didn't know what to do about me approaching with jabs, and the answer is duck. <laughs> or that down one plus two that he did. And I'm surprised I didn't duck that string, but it's not like I've practiced ducking that much. There you go, he ducks it. You gotta get that punish in. You don't get that punish in, and then it's crazy. And here's where, like, I hate myself, right? Um, I know that I'm rushing him down with baits, and I run into this, this fucking slow-ass 90 frame move right here. Uh, I hate that. Um, how much time we got? Not much. That way! Mm, 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 mm. So... But, um, I guess, uh... I think the issue basically becomes that he, he is struggling very difficultly to defend against my character, and the only success that he has here um, is um, getting DF1s on Whip Punish, which I don't give him that many, that many of those. I run up into a couple DF1s, which really pisses me off. And, um, yeah, I run up into a couple DF1s, which really pisses me off. And, um, other than that, the throws. And I, I start breaking throws a little more as the set goes on. So, like, he's getting his turns limited. Um, he's getting his turns limited, and I don't think he understands what he needs to do. And I think the way to have gone about this would have been to understand, maybe he, he would have had to understand my character a bit more. Because it, there was clearly, I clearly saw the ignorance and I exposed it. I saw the ignorance and exposed it. And that's what you're supposed to do when, when you're in a set. You're supposed to expose the ignorance of people against your character. Look at this. Mix! Mix! Got a lot of mixed situations. Um, they say Marlock vs. Wall is in Will's favor. It's really hard for me to believe, but... I think it might be because Marta couldn't have a lot of answers for Wells pressure. So this could be an example of that. See that? Broke that shit, baby. We got the brakes on deck. These are the brakes. So yeah. Um the weird thing is is there were multiple ways I could have gone about trying to win this. Um and I just chose this way first. Um I knew that I could play I could play hidden run against him and do 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 almost the same thing. Except for focus on whip punishing. I didn't focus on whip punishing. I was like, I'm gonna rush your shit down and you better have better defense, right? I'm gonna rush your shit down and you better have you better have good defense against my character. 
and that was the first option. Um, I know I can play hit and run because he loves DF1, right? So if I play hit and run, like you saw that whip that I created, that was a hit and run tactic that I would do. Whatever. That I, I was just feeling myself when I did it, right? <laughs> I was feeling myself when I did it. So that was a good DF1. That was a good DF1. Um, there we go. Tackle into death, right? Yep. Shit. I don't know who this is, but we're going to calm that shit down. <laughs> but, yeah. Overall, this was a reverse sweep 6-0 in a grand final by me. And uh, I'm happy to take it. And I secured my revenge. And I defended the turf. Let, let's get that straight. I did defend the turf. I know that, uh, you know, in 2018, people were coming here. Uh, you know, Ohio, fucking Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, they, everybody, they was coming to Indy and just beating the shit out of everybody because nobody was good at Tekken. It was when I had just started, right? We had some other people that had basically just started too, you know? Jody came here and won. L Train, I believe, uh, probably came here and won. Like a bunch of the people, comatose, maybe, like, like, fuck that shit. So, like, Sloosh, like, nah, like, nah. Like, I love everybody, right? But fuck you if you're coming here and trying to win, you know? Like, <laughs> Fuck it, you're trying to come here and win. And I, I cannot wait for the time. I cannot wait for the time where my other, the, the rest of the indie brigade, I cannot wait for them to be able to defend it. Because I know they're capable. And we pushing and we training every week. Pushing and we training every week, you know. It became a sign mission of mine. Besides wanting to kill the big names, you know, the JDCRs and, the, you know, the, the cuddles, the shadows and all of that shit. Besides that, um, a side quest of mine was to make the people around me stronger, and I think that I've effectively done that to a point where I don't know if Squall beats Spreader, Spreader press Fang. I don't know if Subway, well, Subway's lost the Fang, uh, lost the Spreader, like, twice now. So, like, you know, and I don't know who only can beat and who only can't beat. That's a curiosity. Lil Soap himself is getting really solid and he's close to starting to beat us and turning which means he's going to be able to beat other people very soon. So I am I am very curious about his growth at with Shao Yu. You know, Dr. Shock is on his way too. He's playing Alyssa and he's being more consistent. That's great. Elite Clutch has been in the shadows. He shifted from from Claudio to Eddie. Lesser scouted, harder character to play, but he's solid. I played him this past Friday. He doesn't come around much, but if he does start coming around, he's going to be somebody that people have to worry about. And I'm so excited for that. And with that, um, this uh, the 6-0. 6-0 is complete. So, GG's me. I won. GG's Squall. GG's everybody that came. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Um, and this will be releasing later today. Now, I got to go to work. I was supposed to be there 10 minutes ago. Damn! Till next time, homies. Yeah.